when God does speak to us, he's not just wasting time or thinking of things to say or making empty promises. He is letting us know what he wants to do, what he's going to do, and what he wants to do in and through us. And when he communicates with us, just as surely as he communicated with Adam and Eve in the garden, as soon as God's presence left and Adam and Eve are discussing what God has told Adam in the instructions, the serpent is there waiting and watching and he takes the opportune time to come in to try and discredit the word that God gives. So when you get a word from God, don't be shocked or surprised if doubt enters your mind. It's a fiery flaming missile from the adversary to question the validity of God's word because that's the only thing that can abort it from coming to pass in your life personally is if doubt settles in. If doubt settles in, then you begin to question. And the word requires faith. 